that is a big girl to push around sweet baby Jesus and the gazelles nice quick start from Suzuki there we've got to love a quick start and now to get out of here make sure it's clear let's go hi guys it's username k and welcome back to my channel okay so we're on the big girl the big baby no no no, no. Well, that wasn't the very brightest thing you've ever done, is it? Christ! You got away! Wow, it is bloody windy today, let me tell you that! about is an understatement especially on this weighty whopper I want to open her up just a little bit just to hear that noise Ooh. well guys as you know today I am on the Hayabusa the GSX 1300R Now when I set off, the skies were beautifully clear, there was sunshine, now it's gone a bit cloudy and a bit threatening to be honest, but we'll still give the booster a good old ride. So we've got a little bit of motorway mileage just to chew up first, and then hopefully we can find some nice roads around Hebden Bridge. Now with all the demo bikes that I do get to test ride, I have kind of been accustomed with looking at a digital miles an hour but I am looking for my speed on a, an analogue dial which is taking a bit of time for my eyes to adjust as to what I'm looking at So I've currently got the bike in the mode A, that is a full power mode traction control level one and I'm not really going to bother with B or C today because I have been you know just trying them out on short trips and they really do mute the power I mean don't get me wrong it's a pleasant ride through towns and stuff like that but A is a pleasant mode through towns it's not snatchy it's not hunty but it does just have so much power army tanks it's so cool when you see these in convoy on the roads another one so so far on this motorway journey what can I tell you about the riding position for a sports bike I don't really find it all that extreme even though you have a really really long tank in front of you I don't find it sort of too weighty on my wrists which is nice you know I've got a nice kink in the knee enough to make me know that I'm on a sports bike I know this sounds strange but when I have my balls with my feet on the pegs as I normally do I don't really feel any vibration but when I put the centre of my boot maybe like the thinner part of the rubber on the pegs I do feel a, a bit of vibration Oh it's windy!
you can throw it around for something that weighs so much. Whilst I'm at traffic lights, what is the stopping position like for me? Well, with one foot down, I have a solidly flat foot and if I bring my foot in closer to the bike, I actually have a bit of a kink in the knee. And again, five foot four, 29 inch inseam. The height of this bike is manageable. But yeah, so the height of this thing is perfectly manageable. Let's talk about the weight though. <laughs> so as you probably saw in the little intro to this vlog, I just showed you what it was like for me to push around the garage. And I swear some people sometimes when I push around my GS, they think that I'm probably telling porkies and that I find it much harder than I say I do. Which I don't, by the way, but pushing out the Hayabusa really put things into perspective for me. Like, I can honestly say that it is a pretty heavy bike for me to push around. You'll probably have seen that I struggled a little bit with that weight. Now, obviously everyone's different. I'm an absolute weed. I don't go to the gym, I'm not strong. My fitness is actually an embarrassment. So, yeah, probably on the basis of weight, I don't think that I could, you know, comfortably have this as an everyday bike. Yeah, it'd be nice as a bike in the garage if I was super wealthy. Oh, Hollingworth Lake, I actually know where we are. But you know, as a, the only bike in my garage, because of the weight, I don't think I could do that. I'm still indicating, but I can't turn it off because I'm feathering my clutch and my thumb won't reach. So sorry to anybody who feels misled by my lack of thumb length. There we go. See, I have to put it in neutral when we stop. And it's not just this bike, it's on every bloody bike. Bikes are just not made for small thumbed individuals. Good to see a lass out on the bike in front. Oh, brass knuckle riders, I follow them on Facebook. They seem like a good bunch. I need to get to some nice roads really, don't I? I am trying, Lord knows I'm trying. Oh, I spoke too soon about the old wrist thing. We've just taken a battering then. A bloody battering. But look at this view. So this is Hollingworth Lake and you see that lovely white building in the distance? That is a place that does a real, real nice rag pudding. A very popular biker spot. As you can see. But we've not been told to go around there. We've been told to follow it around here. On the big girl. Smart. Brutal. Thank you. Nice of it. Wow, that brutal is literally like a one two five. Like no lie, I thought it was a Sinisakuma. <laughs> Awkward. I still would love to get on an MV though. I've never ridden one. Okay, so how does it feel weight-wise to ride? Honestly, it doesn't feel like you're hauling around a big 1300 in the slightest. It feels lovely. It feels just like you're riding a Jixxer. Wow. Well, it's getting a bit more hilly. 
It is certainly getting hillier. The more cocking. Everybody could do with more cock. Okay, this is a PG channel. PG, PG. Thank you for driving carefully. Didn't want to commit to the overtake there because of that little side road. Wow. I tell you what, the temperature's getting a bit colder up here. Why, it's glorious back in Bolton. Bloody glorious. And it's quite windy up here as well. Right, we can see it's clear. So we'll make provisions to make progress. Oh, it's smooth. It's flowy. Oh, I feel like by accident you can you can end up getting quite silly on this. But by complete accident, because it's so smooth. tell you what I did an overtake before which I didn't have my camera on and I wanted to just just cut out a very very short piece of road and just nip in and I was not expecting the power to get me into that gap as quick as it did it's pretty cool actually wow look at this this is beautiful it's kind of giving me Iceland vibes, you know? Whoa! Big bump! Lots of bumps on this road. Lots of them. Wow, this really does look like we're in Iceland or something. What on earth? suspension so far I mean it's fully adjustable I feel like it's definitely on the softer side as opposed to like a sporty firm suspension it really is eating all these bumps up like very very plush very plush but it is so kind of bouncy on this road I'm almost not interested in overtaking this car because I feel like I wind the power on and I hit a bump and I'm gonna end up in that bloody ditch down there oh. which I don't really want to do so I'm just gonna chill see this bump here oh. you can see the car throwing all shapes I would be interested to know what a more spirited rider than me thinks because obviously you kind of don't want the plushness when you're pushing on a bit you do want it a bit firmer just so you've got more stability oh what do I know I'm not an expert oh starting to feel the sports bike element where are we Crag Valley or Crag Vale. I, I don't know how to pronounce things. Simple things. Any help that I can get in the comments below with pronunciation is just brilliant. The brakes, I find them to be pretty sharp, pretty good. I can't grumble too much about them. Oh, look at this place. Quick shift is pretty good. Pretty sure it's the same quick shifter that is used on the Jixa R or the Jixa 1000 R. The auto blipper, as you can just see now, down into second, works pretty good as well. 
our pink door. Put it in first gear. Help a girl out. What's gone on here then? Oh well. What can you do? Oh, let's take a little break actually because my wrists are kind of hurting. Again, I don't know whether that's... Yeah, that sees everything. I oh, know. I'm talking to myself because I'm filming. I'm not a crackpot. <laughs> oh, right, I shall crack on. See you later. Yeah, so handling super, super light. Like it's actually unreal how light it handles. Wow, it's so pretty around here. Like so pretty. Can't believe it's a 20 though. Did he realize I'm on a higher booster and my wrist can't handle this? <laughs> So we're in third gear, we're literally doing 20 mile an hour and it is just being compliant as you want, honestly. It's not kicking and screaming, in fact we're less than 20 mile an hour. Third gear, pottering along. If you want to pick it up a little, it's smooth, literally. You can't beat it for that, you know. Super, super smooth. Now, if there are two things where I've got a gripe with this bike. One, the bite on the clutch. Oh. The bite on the clutch is so far out. Now, this one that I'm riding, if you see here, it has got the Suzuki sort of billet levers the official like aftermarket but suzuki version upgraded part premium part accessory genuine accessory you know what i'm saying the levers now with these levers i've got them adjusted as close as it can be for my little baby hands but i feel like when i'm setting off from lights i set off really really slow because the bite is so far out at the, at the end of the lever and it's kind of frustrating because I've never ever had this issue on a Suzuki or sort of any bike really with the clutch being like the bite being so far out and it's just really like it is bothering me a bit actually it's like now so I stopped clutch out then it bites right at the end, right at the tip of my fingers. Oh, that's said turn right. Yards, turn right onto new road, A646. Oh, I bumped into the brutality turn again. Left onto Crown Street, then turn right onto new road. That's the brutality that I thought was a. Take the next right onto new road, A646, then turn right onto Old Gate. Hmm. I don't really understand what my sight nav's telling me. It's like lying to my face. That's a gorgeous colour. Gorgeous. Yeah, so then another thing that I struggle with is kind of how stiff the throttle is. Like, you get some throttles and you can literally just do that and be like, they'll rev. But this is really, really sort of stiff. So on rides through towns, you know that muscle in your hand where when you kind of cup your thumb it looks a bit like a chicken drumstick? That muscle, I get cramp in it. Like it really, really hurts. So there are two things that are kind of my main gripes with this bike. Sharp left onto Commercial Street, A6033. Nah, I'm not going that way. You lied to me. I'm not going up there. Bugger off. But yeah, other than those little gripes, it is a really fun bike to ride and it is so powerful. 
it's kind of frustrating because you can't really show off its power like on the road I, I don't have access to a closed road or anything like that or a track so I can't really show you how bloody fast and powerful this bike is kind of without going to jail and a motor vlog is not much good in jail well guys i hope you've enjoyed this little vlog little first impressions what i think about the suzuki hayabusa but yeah guys if you've got any questions about the hayabusa please let me know in the comments below i'll try my best to answer them for you until the next time take care and ride safe